Welcome! In this video, we'll show you how to understand accounting estimates and related disclosures using Form 513 and 513C in the latest version of Caseware PEG Audit. Form 513 and 513C include the July 2020 PEG forms, which contain the revised CAS 540, Auditing Accounting Estimates and Related Disclosures. These forms were combined with Form 521 to include accounting estimates, estimation complexity, and risk assessment. Before you begin, ensure you have the latest version of the Caseware CPA Canada PEG Audit template. A licensed administrator can retrieve the PEG Audit installer from My Caseware. For more information, see the link in the description below. New and existing PEG 2020 engagement files will automatically include Form 513 if they are based on the core or all practice aid forms profiles. To enable Form 513 in new files, ensure you answer no to the condensed question and yes to the estimations question in the optimizer checklist. Note, after you complete the optimizer checklist, ensure to review Form AOCR Audit Optimizer Confirmation Report to confirm the deletion of any unnecessary documents. If you have an existing engagement file that doesn't include either Form 513 or 513C, you can manually add them from the PEG Audit Document Library. Open Form 513. In Part A, first enter any findings. Then, select applicable estimates and enter any relevant financial statement area. Select the materiality, add comments, determine the complexity, and link any work program references. You can also add up to six additional estimates if the identified nature of the estimates not listed in the form. In Part B, you can enter a description of the impact of control deficiencies identified in Form 530. If no estimates are enabled from Part A, both Part C and D are hidden by default. Since the allowance for doubtful accounts estimate is enabled and not complex, Part C displays for the estimate and you can enter your findings. Since work in progress and finished goods, inventory costing is a complex estimate, Part D displays and you can enter your findings. However, if the identified estimates are not complex, Part D remains hidden. Under Part E, update the estimates table for new risks or changes to risk factors identified in Part A. To enable Form 513C, you can follow the same process as Form 513. However, for new files, ensure you answer yes to the condensed question in the optimizer checklist. Form 513C is intended for use on smaller engagements by auditors that have an advanced understanding of the Canadian Auditing Standards requirements. The only difference between Form 513 and 513C is that under Part A, you have the ability to identify custom estimates. Thanks for watching.